And this fifth part I will show that the wave of creation is taking place nine times, nine times in a nested way. Here we see it. The first wave we see here, 13 phases or seven days and six nights. On the seventh day, another new wave of, of creation takes place. And this is the second one, but it's all within the period of the first of the seventh day of the first wave. And again and again and again, it goes faster and faster. Every time it goes to a higher level, the gear is uh, going one up and increasing the speed with a factor of 20. So the creation here goes 20 times as fast as the creation here. And again, here's 20 times faster. At this moment, we are here. And it's going much faster and faster than it started at the beginning. And a lot of people are feeling that. They're feeling that the speed of creation is, in fact, increasing. And these nine levels are very visible in this pyramid in, of Kukulkan in uh, the east of Mexico. It has exactly nine levels, and each level represents the creation of a higher, yeah, higher level of consciousness. Each layer has been created on top of the other one. It took a long time before the first layer was created, and then the second, and then the fourth, and so on. Third and then the fourth. It goes faster and faster. But the nice thing about this is we can also validate this model in ourselves because our own consciousness also has these nine levels. At the lower, lowest level, we have what I call existence-based consciousness. When we are nearly drowning, there's only one thing we want, and that is survival. And at that moment, our consciousness is dropping to the base level of existence. When we are guided by our instincts, we are at the second level. When we are touched by our feelings, we are at the third level. When we are stuck in reasoning, we are at the fourth level. When we are focusing on values, we are at the fifth level. When we try to hold on to norms, we're at the sixth level. When we apply power or we obey power, we are at the seventh level. And now we are jumping, humanity is jumping from, from power-based consciousness to strength-based consciousness. That is a very big change and that's happening. Because at this level, we are no longer uh, listening to powers, but we are only listening to ourselves, our inner voice. And there's a nine final phase, which we start to realize the wholeness of everything. You can also call it enlightenment or any other name. That is the top level. And the Mayas had words for each, each length of day and night of these nine waves of creation. We are now at level of the tune. A tune is a period of 360 natural days. This has nothing to do with one circle of Terra around Helios. This has everything to do with 360 degrees of a full circle. Something totally different. Maya said words for every, every phase because it's 20 times faster, uh, longer I mean. They have even a word of Hablatun, which means a period of one of over one billion years. It's a very, very long period. And the, the unit of this calendar is a period of 18 natural days. If we look at 18 natural days, we see that it is 432 hours, which is also in the harmonic scale on the tone A. I didn't show it, but it's 433 hertz. And it has, or it has 25,920 minutes. So we see that the same numbers reappear. This is the number from the precession cycle, and this is the number from harmonic music. But you can also see it like this. 18 is 6 plus 6 plus 6. Maybe somebody is afraid for 666, six, six, the number of the beast, but to me, it's just representing 18, the importance of the number of 18. There's a lot of debate about when this countdown calendar, because that's what it is, will end. Some people say it's December 21, 2012. Carl Kalleman says it's October 28 of this year, 2011. But I found that there is actually an even better date, and that's based on 9-11. If we understand the energetic meaning of what happened on 9-11 in 2001, then we understand that this is, in fact, the correct date. I will give you all the details in the next presentation. And then the final date 
the ending date of this Mayan calendar is July 14, 2012. It also means that the start of the ninth and final wave is on November 24 of this year, which is Thanksgiving Day in the United States. I don't think that's a coincidence. And here we see the other starting dates of the previous waves of creation. Here we see all the nine waves on the same scale. And we see a kind of alternating rhythm of going in and going out for creation until the ninth level. The ninth level we are on top of duality. That's going to be very exciting. The moment we are now here, at the seventh day of the eighth wave. There's another way to validate this, and that's looking at our physiology. The lowest level, the dynamics is created by the proteins. They create the micro world of our cells, of our biological cells. And if you look at the work of Bruce Lipton, he's explaining yeah, how beautifully these, these proteins are reacting with, with DNA, with, with the environment. And it's, it's very fascinating to understand the dynamics. But it's just the base level, the level of the of the cells and the proteins, the role of them. At the second level, we find the brainstem, and that is the oldest part of our brain. It's the middle part, it's the brainstem. It's also called the reptile brain. And we'll see that in this second period, the reptiles dominated Earth, so it's exactly the same. On top of the brainstem, we find the limbic system, and that is responsible, <coughs> responsible for our emotions. The brainstem is responsible for instincts, this is responsible for our emotions. And on top of that, around it, we find the neocortex, that's the newest part of our brain, and that's there we find our processes of reasoning. So we find here instinct, emotion, reasoning, just like the previous explanation. And we can go even further, because with the right hemisphere, yeah, it's more holistic, it's based on values, while the left hemisphere is more analytic, is based on norms. I always say with the right hemisphere we can see the forest, but with the left we can only see the trees. On top of that we created the ego. Ego is about power. We also created an ego at planetary level. I will discuss it later on. There's only one way to get at a higher level than your own ego, and that is by intuition. If you start to listen to your own intuition, then the ego is not that important anymore. And the top level, the ninth level, we, we learn to live from our hearts, and if we do that, then we reach the highest level of wholeness co consciousness. I'm going to briefly go through the history to show all the historic facts that are supporting this timeline. But if you want to listen a little bit more and see a little bit more, then go to the website pateo.nl. You find a video presentation of a half an hour where I explain it in a little bit more detail. The first wave was about creating existence-based consciousness. And the timing of the Big Bang is, according to a scientist,